Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to introduce you to the new Carousel layout for the Hero Web Party in SharePoint. And I'm excited to show you how this powerful feature will allow you to create visually engaging pages with rotating slides, perfect to highlight multiple message. So let's immediately dive into this feature and explore how it works. First, let's take a look at how to add the hero web part to your SharePoint page. Simply select the add web part and choose the hero. Now let's select the carousel layout. Well, by default now, when you add a new hero web part, carousel is the selected option. I'm assuming that Microsoft did this so they put the new feature right in front of your eyes. But in case you already have the hero web part in your page, then you need to switch the layout to the carousel if you want to use this new feature. So the next step is to add the slides and customize each one of them. You can add up to five different slides and each one of them can have different layouts and you have multiple options that you can choose from. There are three available layouts for you to select, image overlay, text block and diagonal split and each layout offers different ways to display your content which allows you to create a lot of variations that will make your slides unique and incredible for your users to interact with. The image overlay layout displays a white or dark overlay color on top of the image to make the text more readable so in case you select an image with a lot of white uh, with the overlay it ensures that your users will be able to read the text no matter the size of the component in the page you can set the opacity of the overlay and align the text to the left to the center or to the right the text block layout displays the text inside a light block with transparency. The text can be aligned again to the left, to the center or to the right. And the block changes position based on the alignment. The diagonal split divides the slide in half with a wide solid trapezoid where the text is added. The other often overflows the color area so the text has a white thick border to ensure breathability when it overflows and is displayed on top of the image. Text can be aligned to the left or to the right. There's no center option in this layout and the diagonal changes direction based on the alignment that you select for the text. In addition to these layouts, you can also configure the text areas for each one of the slides. There are four text areas available, topic, header, description, and call to action. The topic can have up to 40 characters and it's displayed above the other. It's the first thing that you see in each one of the slides is not mandatory. It's totally optional. And the other is the main caption for each slide and this is what i recommend you to use in every single one of them because this is the first thing that your users will see when they first look to the slide and this area allows you to type up to 110 characters the description provides more context about the slide and you can have up to 500 characters and finally the call to action is the text that it's displayed in the button and this one can have up to 40 characters. You can manually configure all settings for each slide, as I told you before. However, if you choose a SharePoint page as a source of the slide, it will automatically use the page banner as the image background for the slide, the page title as the header, and the page link will be then the call to action and a button saying learn more is added automatically to the slide. In the settings, you can choose to make the carousel autoplay or static. Autoplay can capture the viewer's attentions and keep them engaged, while manual navigation gives users full control over the pace at which they view the slides. Well, I honestly like the autoplay more than the static simply because it gives motion to the page and this way the users will easily understand that there's more to see. With the static, I'm afraid that most of the users will miss the other four slides in case you have a 
fully configured slide as it will be static and it will be like a card in your page. The Carousel layout was built with accessibility in mind since day one and for each slide you have the possibility to set the text that will be used by screen readers or in case you are adding the slide to the page just to decorate how things look like, you can mark it as decorative only and this way it will be ignored by the screen readers. And there you have it. The new carousel layout for the Hero Web Part in SharePoint is a fantastic way for you to create dynamic and engaging content for your pages. I hope that you found this demo helpful. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more SharePoint tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.